So what you're looking at on your screen right now is the back connection panel of three different television set-top boxes. One is from the cable company, the second one is from the telephone company, the third from satellite TV. You'll notice most of the connections on the back of all three are fairly similar. Now they may be in a different location because different manufacturers put them in different spots, but generally the connectivity on the back regardless of the brand, regardless of who your television service provider is, they're very similar. In this video, I'm going to sh talk you through two methods for connecting a sound bar to the set-top box. And I want to say that if you watch the whole video, you'll get an understanding about how simple this process is. However, this is not going to be a solution for every situation, but rather most situations. So what you see on your screen right now are two different types of wires. On the left is the rather typical RCA wire, the red-white wire. And on your right is the uh, digital toss link wire. This normally has to be purchased separately at a local retailer or online. Now chances are good that the manufacturer of your sound bar supplied you with a red-white RCA connection cable. You'll notice on the left-hand side of your screen there are actually two different versions of it. The one on the top it's RCA on both ends of the wire. The one on the bottom starts out stereo and ends up red white RCA. So we need to understand these connection wires to understand what is the best one to choose for your setup. So what you're looking at right now is the back connections on four different sound bars. The top left is Samsung, on the right is the Spectre, on the bottom left is Vizio, and the bottom right is Bose. Now if you look at all four, we highlighted the connection points with the yellow circle, and you'll notice quickly that the types of connections available across different manufacturers is extremely similar. So let's focus on the bottom right, the Bose, for just a second. It has two types of connections that are highlighted in that yellow circle. It has the red-white RCA, and directly adjacent to it on the right, it has the digital toss link. You need to turn your sound bar around and take a look at what the available connections are on the back so that you can select the correct wire when you make that connection. Okay, now that you've looked at the connections that are available on the back of your soundbar, look again at the back of your set-top box and see if you have some connections that are available that match the connection type on the back of the soundbar. Now, the preferred method is to use the digital toss link because the sound quality, depending on the audio track, is going to be a little bit better uh, through the toss link. How much better? Well, it's hard to say because we don't know what audio track you're listening to. If it's an MP3, you might not notice the difference because MP3s are pretty highly compressed. If, however, it's an audio track from a DVD, then you might notice the sound quality improvement by using the toss link. Regardless, if you have an available toss link output, we recommend you use that. You do have to go out and buy that cable if you don't have one laying around. Or you can use the red-white analog connection point. To make sure we're being clear, you only need to make one connection, either the RCA cable or the digital toss link. You don't need both. The red-white RCA is going to sound okay. Uh, the digital toss link is going to sound okay. And if you're listening to a DVD or watching a DVD movie, the digital toss link is probably going to sound a little bit better. So we appreciate you watching. We hope you subscribe. If you have questions regarding your specific setup, by all means, visit our website. There's a link right below the video. When you visit the website, click on the contact, contact us button and send us your question, or by all means, post your question right here on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day.